face. It seems as if the YouTube gods don't want me to film this video. I cannot seem to get the lighting right, so if I look ill, I'm really, really sorry. As you can tell, this is my wardrobe. Loads of you have asked me for a wardrobe tour, and now you can probably understand why I haven't done one, because this is my wardrobe. But luckily, when I moved in here, there was already like a built-in little hole where I can put my clothes, and then I just have a set of drawers next to them for my IKEA that I have all my other stuff in. So this is basically my wardrobe, and then this stuff here is Doug's and then the rest is mine and I thought it would be appropriate to film here because one this is a fashion -y video two this is called the closet confidential tag and three it's just a different location to film in so I thought why not I was tagged by my lovely friends Jen from Close Encounters and Marcia from Cute Pie Marcia so thank you for tagging me guys it's been a long time since you guys tagged me so I'm finally doing this video question number one is what is the oldest item in your wardrobe I've got a tie up between two and that's actually not in my wardrobe at the moment so we're just gonna pretend that they were but the first thing is this huge navy blue cable knit and this is probably gonna make the lighting go crazy this huge cable knit jumper from Topshop that I got back in 2010 I wear dark colors and it washes out my face whoa I got this jumper back in 2010 I still wear it now even though it's really really tatty and old it's just my I want to feel comfortable and warm jumper to go to in the winter time and then the next thing is this coat that I recently found back at my mum's I came across a load of old clothes and one of the items was this coat from Gap I remember absolutely hating this because it was just a, like a grown-up camel coloured nicely put together coat and I was 12 and all I wanted was a bright pink puffer jacket and because it was bought from the adults Gap it was quite long on me it fitted me but it was longer but now it actually fits me like it was meant to fit me because this is a extra small but gap adult so this is the equivalent of a size eight i have just fallen back in love with it and i've been wearing it recently and the only other camel colored coat that i have is my duffel coat that i got from asos last christmas in the sale and i just really really like this coat it's just re it's just something different for me to wear and i love the lining pink silky lining when I wore it for the first time as an adult basically 10 years on since I got this I put my hand in the pocket and there was a groovy chick chocolate wrapper I didn't even know groovy chick did chocolate but who remembers groovy chick I was obsessed with groovy chick anyway on to the next question what is your newest item in your wardrobe and that is where is it the most recent thing that I bought is this stripy top from Topshop. I got it in the mind frame that I was gonna wear it to work, but I can also wear it outside of work. And you guys know that I love collared things. I went through a stage of not wearing many collared things, but I'm getting back into wearing collars. And it's really, really soft, and it's just a bog standard t-shirt with a little pocket, and then on the back it's got a keyhole, and it ties together with a white ribbon. So that is from Topshop. I'm pretty sure they still have that, so I will link that for you in the down bar. I really like it, I've been wearing it loads. Next is, what is your most expensive item? I don't actually know. I don't know if shoes count. If shoes do count, I have these fleece lined Doc Martins that I got last winter. And they're a bit dusty, but I can't wait to wear them again. The fleece makes them so comfortable, so warm and snuggly, and the fleece goes all the way down. I can't remember how much they were, but they're Doc Martin price, so fairly pricey. But yeah, so I have those. So cheapest, most affordable item. Mm, I would have to say this skirt that I have down here. I have like a few skirts just on the lower hangers. Not this red one, although I think this red one was quite cheap. But no, the one on the front. And um, you guys might recognise this if you watch my vlogs. I got this about a year ago now, actually, almost on the dot to a year ago. And I got this in Rocket in London, a vintage shop. I loved this when I got it. The only thing is, is that I really need to get it taken in and fixed because the little loopholes that you put the belts through are kind of broken. But I really, really like it. And if I get this sort of mended up, I reckon I will wear this lots because it's a really nice length. So that's probably my cheapest, most affordable item. My biggest bargain, again, I'm not too sure because I can't remember what I've got in the sale and what I haven't. ASOS is so good for sales. I got this in the sale last Christmas. So the one thing that comes to mind that I've been wearing recently is, it is this top again from ASOS. Just think this is so nice and so different to what I have. The pattern is really lovely and it's really flowy. You can either tie it up or I just let it hang 
like this and I think this is just something really nice that I've been enjoying wearing and I think I might have got this for maybe £6 in the sale. Bargain. My biggest waste of money, I would say, is this that I got just before Christmas last year. It's a lovely dress, I love it, but I just don't wear it. I've worn it once, once when I did this um, panel thing. It's just, it covers up quite a lot and it's a midi dress, so it's really, really hard to wear and it's full length sleeve, sleeve? sleeves and it's high neck and the only bit of skin it shows is the back so yeah that this was 80 pounds and i wore it once i'm either gonna have to just find a way to wear this or maybe get it altered you know what i might get it just put into like a, a, a midi dress because i do really like it i think it's just a bit too full on and i just cannot pull it off so the bonus question is pick three of your favorite items and if you know me well if you watch this youtube or you watch my vlogs or you read my blog or you follow me on social media, then you could probably guess what these three items are going to be. First item is my broke ankle boots. I've had them since 2011. Look at the soles. I need to get them rehealed. Look at them. You can see how I walk so bad. And yeah, they're just so tatty. And I, I just wear them all the time. I just love them. I probably went about three months without wearing them. And now I've just gone back to wearing these. I got these in office. I cannot seem to find a pair that are just as comfy or as nice. I like how they come really low on my ankle as well. You know that one pair of shoes that is just comfortable and they're just so easy to wear? This is these for me. My next favourite item, and I'm going to show two, are big scarves. I got this big tartan scarf last year from ASOS. You can just wear it like this or you can tie it round like this when it's really, really cold. Or you can have it as like a blanket if you're at a festival or you're camping or if you're traveling you can use it as a pillow so it's really versatile and I love tartan scarves and then I got this last Christmas as well from Topshop this is super soft it's about the same size but it's just completely different pattern and color and last but not least is my trusty leather jacket I got this back in 2012 and I've pretty much worn it with every single outfit spring summer autumn winter all year round and it's starting to go on the elbows a little bit it is a bit cropped I would like one just like this but slightly longer but yeah that is my closet confidential tag I will link who I'm gonna tag in the down bar if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one bye I was lost. I was somewhere. I was lost.